Paul Morning YouTube. Uh, I suppose everyone's wondering, including myself, uh, now what? We spent the last two months building that trestle and river scene end. Uh, it's still not finished, uh, lots of little fine details to go in yet. But we'll cover them in future episodes. I need to get my brain into a uh, different cog, I think, and move on to something else. And the first step will be to have a massive clean-up here all around the layout, I think, so that I can see what I'm doing. And uh, then maybe get a bit of that wiring sorted out that I started some months back on that new panel. Uh, after that, not quite sure the direction uh, everything will take, but uh, we'll just see how it flows. I, I tend to do things uh, that I'm in the mindset to do, uh, rather than have a strict, stringent plan. I've uh, just always just got a lot of options open and uh, whatever. Takes my mind to start you know, on any particular day or week or month, that's, uh, that's what I do and that way I find I make the most progress. Not always in the one area at the same time, but uh, overall uh, things move along. So it's messed there. It's time for a clean up and uh, then a serious think. So I shall come back to you shortly. Well, a bit of a wrap up on uh, what I've done for the last week. Little bits and pieces. As the Y6B trundles across the, the trestle, I started putting the fine details in these little walking planks in between the the two sets of rails there and, and little uh, oops, little uh, access points there off the side for workers. Uh, also starting to add some people. That uh, there is a bit hard to see there but that's a little campfire there with a few hobos sitting around it. And up on the, the lookout platform there's some people there standing around looking waiting for a train to come past no doubt yeah so apart from that got those little places and things there and there going in to make it all look a little bit more stable so that's uh, that's sort of about it from in here okay um, as I was um, suddenly rudely interrupted by the battery dying there before but when we charged it up and what was I saying? That's right. Yeah, this set of compactors, uh, equivalent to five bays of shelving, which is an enormous amount of storage space. It came with a heap of shelves, which was great. And the amazing part was how much it cost. It was in an auction. The starting bid was $50. So I thought, all right, I'll put in a bid of $50 and see what happens. And Surprise, surprise, no one else bid on it. And I got it. So I got it for 50 bucks plus the buyer's premium and GST and all that sort of rubbish. So it, was, it worked at about 60 bucks for this whole set of compactors. They normally go for many, many hundreds because they're, they're like a couple of thousand dollars new easily or more. So anyway, we picked it up up in Adelaide last trip there and um, brought it home. And I've since put it in the shed. We disassembled the course up there to bring it home. Put it in the shed, assembled it, and I've been sorting out my stuff. I, uh, yeah, I emptied out over there, which was just a mess, and sorted it all out into the shelves here. All the buildings up the top there, and building kits, and rolling stock kits. Got all that sorted. And there's uh, more inside still. Uh, I managed to take quite a bit of stuff out of these uh, architectural drawers, those ones that I got earlier, so I freed up some space in there to sort some more low bits and pieces out. But yeah, there was a, a double set of shelves on the end here, so I attached them permanently and uh, put shelves in there. We've got uh, logos and building styrene, timber, 
scale lumber there. Yeah. All sorts of other bits and pieces, the wheels and cogs and got all my figures and plastic parts and signs and all spare pe pizza pe bleh, people and bits and pieces and uh, even had room for all my railway books. Got them out of the other shed, piled them up in there. Whack and um, yeah, in this area I've just started getting that organised. I've got a bit of O scale there. And grandson's trains up on the top shelf. All sorted out. So, yeah, there's plenty of room there for workshop stuff. And of course, in this other one, that's a yeah. I've got a full set of shelves in there with uh, parts box size gaps, so I can fit an enormous amount of. Uh, tools and uh, stuff like there. I ho hope to put all my nuts and bolts in there and get them all organised, get them away from over on the wall and the other, other side there. Not only that, there's still all this one free. So I can get um, a lot of the stuff from underneath the bench here that's in the bloody way. Uh, sorted out and on the shelves in there, nice and neat. Yeah, all those nuts and bolts and stuff over there, I can I can take them out and then uh, actually take those shelves away from there and make that a plain plain wall and give me more uh, workbench space down the bottom here and get all that stuff out of the way. Uh, needless to say, that'll that'll give me room to put these little modules and things like that on there to work on the grandson's layout. And uh, of course, once we free up this middle space here, well, then I can I can start working on the old motorbikes. Yeah, so uh, yeah, bit of this and that done this week. Had um, rallies down from Adelaide, some of the wife's um, family. Uh, that takes up time, needless to say, being social and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so we've got a bit done, but um, yeah, a little bit late getting this upload done. But never mind. Uh, I'll try and be on track again next week and get one up Saturday night. And uh, if all else fails, I'll continue doing a weekly update on uh, on the layout and whatever else was happening in the in the train world for me. So uh, until then, uh, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please comment and welcome to all the new subscribers. Glad to have you on board. Hope you stay with me. There's much more to come in the future with uh, kit building and layout updates. All sorts of interesting stuff like that. So we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Bye for now.